Well, hello and welcome. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the impossible. Yes, the impossible. How to get a green screen effect without using a green screen. No green screen at all. We're gonna do it right here, no green screen. <laughs> and no, before you ask, you do not need the new GeForce NVIDIA card to be able to do this. This will work on any computer. You can actually do this on a mobile phone. How insane is this? So let's get to it. So I made a video previously about how to add blur into your background and using masks to kind of cut yourself out in a janky way. And lots of people started asking the question, is there a way that this can kind of track you so it looks more realistic? This led me down the rabbit hole of looking at how on earth can we get around this? And in my search, I stumbled across a free tool called XSplit, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I've put the link for this down in the description, but if you go to xsplit.com, you'll see that there is this option that says VCAM and that's what we're going to be using. So VCAM is your virtual cam and what this will do is it will remove, replace and blur your webcam background without a green screen and trust me it's 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 pretty good. So you can use this on your live stream, you can use it in Teams, you can use it on Zoom, you can see OBS there, Sky. All you need to do is go ahead and download it here. As far as I'm aware at the moment this only works with Windows so if you're on Mac I'm really sorry. Something that you could do potentially though is maybe use the mobile version. So of course, the first thing you need to do is click here and download this. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it installed and I don't want it again. So if you're wanting to use your mobile phone camera as your webcam, I have actually done another video kind of explaining how this works. I will leave that as a link in the description. What you'll need to do is to come up to products up here at the top and choose this option, which is XSplit Connect Webcam. Within here, download this to the PC that you're wanting to connect that webcam to. And then you will also need to download the app version on your mobile phone. Clicking that will talk you through how to do that. So go ahead and download the version that you need, and then I will show you what it looks like in the VCAM software. So when you first come into XSplit VCAM, what you're gonna wanna do is to head to this drop down and choose your webcam from the list. Now you can see in here, I actually have tons and tons and tons of virtual cameras. This is because I like to layer different effects on top of different cameras. So I have a plugin that allows me to do that without all of my cameras being affected. So in this case, the camera I'm gonna use is actually my OBS camera 4. But you probably at this point just wanna go ahead and choose whichever is your normal webcam. If you are using the mobile phone version, it'll be down here at the bottom. So make sure that you've got the app installed and it's in the pairing mode, and then you can go ahead and connect that on here. But in this case, let's just go ahead and choose my camera. And we can see what that's done is it's nicely brought in the camera that we're looking at right Right now you can see that there is a watermark up here if you want to remove that it's going to ask you to pay to do that but we can kind of get around that a little bit depending on how you're using it with a little bit of cropping I, I know we should be buying these things but you know how it is it does give you a free option there as well so in this case on the right hand side you can see this is the original there is nothing applied here on the background but we have some options you do have like all of these various backgrounds so we can go and say oh there we go we're, we're now sat on a cozy sofa and I'm just leaning on a guitar there. But the one that we're really interested in is being able to remove this background. So if I choose this here, you can see that's not done a terrible job of removing my background. There are a few other options within here. If we come up to this little bit at the top and drop this down, we can choose settings and this will open up this menu here. So you have a few different options of being able to change the quality, apply adaptive filters, lock to 30 frames per second. And there's also this option which is remove chair and I have that one on but you want your chair to be included you can see it's just it's just not as good so I have that one on and it kind of gets rid of that and it, it looks a little bit better so there are a few settings that you can tweak to get this looking pretty good the thing that's going to make the difference here is that you are lit really well and that your background is darker now I have lots of lights in the background so it does make it a little bit more difficult if I turn them off I would get a much cleaner line now let's just try something else. So if you remember, I said that I was actually looking for something that could blur the background for me rather than remove the background. So if I set this to original and bring back the old screen here, you'll see I have a slider down here at the bottom and I can grab this and I can actually blur out my background and give kind of like a fake depth of field effect that as I move around, 
tracks with me. How cool is that? I mean, yes, we, we, we do have this up here, so you guys decide how you're going to deal with that one. <laughs> So let's go into OBS and see how we can make this look on kind of a live stream environment. So we're back into our OBS and what we want to do now is add in a new camera source and this time we're going to be looking at adding in our new VCam. As always we're going to go down to the bottom left here of our sources and choose add. We're going to choose video capture device and within here I already have one set up so I'm going to use that but you will need to create a new one, call it XSplit, call it VCam, whatever you like, something that you can remember. I'm going to use this one that's already here choose OK and we can see that has now pulled in our VCAM. So what I want to do is just go ahead and resize that. As always, if you're not familiar with OBS, I have already done a tutorial on how to use this. I'll link it so you can check it out. But you can see here that doesn't look too bad. Now, let me just bring back our control panel here on XSplit so you can see as I make the changes. So you can see if I bump up the blur there, we get really blurry. You don't want to go too far because it's going to start to look really awful and it's going to cause massive, massive lag on your stream. So just keep it subtle if you are doing it for the blur. But let's say in this case, actually, we don't want to use the blur. We want to remove our background. Of course we do. Look at that. That's not bad at all, is it? Now, the way that I would get around this up here because it doesn't look the best. Let's just drop me sort of down here. Look at that, I look like an actual pro streamer now. So I've just cropped that a little bit to make myself fit in a wee little bit better. You could go ahead and just crop this in. The only thing is, is that you are risking losing a bit of the head there. But you know, you can get this so it's pretty good looking just by cropping like that. However, something that I would probably do at this point is to apply a mask over me that was maybe circular so it kept me nice and in the middle there. I have done a tutorial on how to apply masks already. Again, I will leave all of the links to all of these relevant videos down in the bottom that you can check out but that's probably the best way to go about doing it in this case we'll just leave it as it is and what do we think does that look pretty cool i think that looks really good in fact let's make it just a little bit bigger so i, I look like a proper pro streamer like i know what i'm doing <laughs> So what I really like about this is that if I was to pair this with the virtual camera plugin that is for OBS, I will leave a link for that down in the description as well. You can make this so that say when you're on your just chatting screen on your stream, that you have your background in place, just like I have on this camera right now with my background still here. But when I cut to my game screen, it cuts out my background so that it looks like this and that I'm like pro gamer. <laughs> so that is it. I don't know about you, but I'm well impressed with this one. So that is it today. I've been absolutely dying to share this one with you because I've been thinking about it since I made the blur tutorial. And I'm so, so glad that I was able to find a way in which we can do this and that it's free. Just mind blown. So if you found this video useful, please go ahead and do all of those things that you know I love, love, love. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.